What's going on YouTube? So today I'll be working on the Ninja 250, uh, my wife's Ninja 250. Uh, as you can see, actually I want to show you guys how it looks like now. I have a bunch of new parts, basically new windshield, mirrors, fairings, uh, controls, shorty levers, all that restored from the previous uh, when uh, you know it was all damaged from when she was learning on it. Um, I put a preliminary kind of a temporary uh, frame sliders there, but uh, she hasn't ridden it ever since the um, the new parts came in because we're we're waiting for this. So this is the the main focus of this video is uh, the Impact Tech um, crash bars. So it's basically a stunt cage um, that will go on replacing this because we want to save all these new parts that we put in here. It's there's still going to be some parts that are going to be damaged like. Um, you know this will still maybe hit this part um, but I mean majorly it would be saved by this crash cage so that's what we're trying to go for um, because it is painful to see the bike being torn to shreds every t every single time that you know she drops it um, I still have the, that that um, obnoxious exhaust I'm still gonna change that someday um, for this company, uh, Impact Tech, they, they make these um, really nice crash crash cages, uh, really well made. They come in different colors. They're custom made, so they're they take a while to get um, to get here. Uh, it uh, it's stated on their website about six to eight weeks, but for me, I think it was about nine weeks or so. But uh, as soon as they finish production, it ships really fast. Like uh, at one to two days, it got to me. Um, but I mean, I think I was close by to them. I'm in the same state, so I guess, but still, um, it was pretty fast uh, for a big for a big item. Um, so it comes with um, a bunch of uh, sliders and that, that goes on here on the ends. And it comes with these three pieces. So that bar uh, links the bottom piece together from the bottom. And the top just goes to the main engine bolt where this is um, attached right now. Um, what the, the trick is, um, this slider is um, kind of dodging the, the fairing, but for this crash cage, I have to make a, a, a hole about the, size of, about the size of this. So I need a hole saw um, to, to clear that. So the, the idea of cutting, um, a really nice fairing like this, uh, but I it must be done. Uh, the, the you know I've had bikes before where I had to cut the fairing for the right sliders to come in because the the sliders that are diverted a little bit are not as strong as the one that goes through the one that you cut. I mean because it's the the contact point. This is a little I don't know that don't matter. But the point is we have to we have to cut uh, slows me down a little bit. I was supposed to get this installed by last night, but um, because of that, I have to wait for a friend to bring me the tools. All right, YouTube. So let me show you guys what I'm working on here. As you can see the, where is it? Okay, right there. So this part is where the engine, um, bolt is. It's, it goes through the engine and the frame. Um, so that's how the engine is attached to the frame, uh, just by that bolt. It's a long bolt going across. So that's, this is where the sliders are attached currently so I'm going to remove this whole assembly um, replace the bolt with what they have and that's where the cage is basically going to mount from the top the top portion of it and it goes through the um, the wall of the fairing so that's uh, that's where I'm at I just want to show you guys what it looks like um, I haven't seen any instructions online about a Ninja 250 for this cage but there's plenty of others for other bikes so that's just uh, I want to record this for future reference. Uh
Came out a lot cleaner than I actually was expecting. Okay, so we have the bars installed on both sides. Um, the bars are shipped with the bolts kind of pre-installed. So keep in mind that it might not be on the right side. Um, the bolt is not um, an all thread. It has a dead spot like this. Um, so keep in mind, it's on one portion you can slide it through, the other portion has a, a thread that will catch it. So this one, this part is the one that slides through and the other sides will catch it. It has a thread on the end. So just keep that in mind when you're installing this. So now we're um, just gonna bolt everything up and then I'll show you guys the final product. What's going on YouTube? So we are back. So I finally put the stuff back on together. Um, here's what it looks like. So I'll probably clean up the hole there a little bit more. Maybe put um, some kind of grommet or something like that, rubber seal, or maybe just paint it black. So the white portion doesn't kind of stick out. So you can, you know, your mileage may vary. It's up to you how you, how you, how nice you want it to look. I'm just kind of in a hurry because I'm really excited to ride it. Um, so right now that's what it looks like. Mounts to this part here. Um, yeah, it's pretty secure. It's not gonna move. I'll show you the other side. Yeah, really clean. Here's a view from afar. That's what it looks like. So you you might run into some clearance issue with your leg here, but really I'm like 6'2 and it's fine for me. But it depends on the person, I guess. I have rear sets, so the stock the stock um, uh, foot pegs would be a little bit more forward. So I think it might be a problem on, in that case. But since I have rear sets, mine's pushed. Um, far back like that and so my, my feet is um, not in the way of this so there we go so also impact tech is nice enough to include um, two sets of uh, sliders that go on this part here see that and there's a hole in this portion of the the bar where you tap in a screw that they provide so to lock it in place so really nice that they actually include two sets so once you mess this up you have another set so and you can keep ordering just uh, replacement um, replacement sliders like this um, actually let me get that installed and then I'll show you guys what it looks like all right you guys here it is with the sliders installed so it's just held on by the screw. I use the drill to, it's a basically a self-tapping screw. It has to tap into this, uh, to the body of this inside and it locks it in place. Once you want to replace it, remove the screw, pull this out, replace it with the new one, and just tap it again with the, <clears throat> the screw. And yeah, that's how it works. There you go. I haven't seen any um, other videos about this uh, crash cage, so like making a video so for future reference if someone else is looking for it if you got if you're just you know trying to learn on this bike and you don't want to mess it up um, this is basically your best bet um, I was thinking about laying it down and see how far down it would go but judging from the angle here it won't hit anything but the exhaust on this side and it would hit um, this lever protector here but it won't hit the it might not hit it might not hit this part but it'll definitely hit you know if it bounces around I mean it's gonna save the majority of you know of your parts so all right I'm very satisfied with it it's just the weight was really long so okay thank you guys for watching if you guys have any questions let me know on the comment section and I'll try to help you out the this bar didn't come with any instructions but it's self-explanatory to a point if you're not mechanically inclined or don't have a lot of tools um, you might get stuck on a couple places so 
yeah, just let me know. Ask me a question and uh, I'll try to answer it. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.